Hi, welcome to this course that we call Understanding Security Vulnerabilities. In the last decade, we have seen an increased focus on cybersecurity, and together with phishing, taking advantage of security vulnerabilities is today the most common method for initiating an attack, which in turn will lead to the loss of confidentiality, integrity or availability of an asset or a service. In this course, we are going to talk about these security vulnerabilities and better understand them from several points of views. Though most of the content will be generic enough to apply to all security vulnerabilities, many parts will be discussed in the context of software vulnerabilities. In particular, we will discuss how they are described, where you can find information about them, and how to interpret this information. The course is divided into several modules, each covering a specific topic. But before we dive into the details, let us first define what we mean when we say security vulnerability. There are several slightly different definitions of security vulnerabilities, but their relation to weaknesses are often the same. We will use the following definition. A vulnerability is an issue or inherent weakness that can result in a successful attack. So, while a weakness is a general issue, a vulnerability is a specific weakness that can be exploited in an actual attack in order to have some impact on the targeted assets. In this first part of the course, we will look at the CVE identifier and discuss what it is and what it is used for. The industry standard for identifying a vulnerability is the CVE identifier. It is short for Common Vulnerabilities and Exposures. The identifier is the letters CVE followed by the year it was reported and then followed by a number with at least four digits. Giving a vulnerability a unique identifier allows the vulnerability information to be communicated and discussed such that everyone involved knows precisely which vulnerability is referred to. It also allows easy centralization of the information and it allows us to track and search for information regarding a specific vulnerability. The MITRE Corporation is responsible for maintaining the CVE list and also to assign new CVE identifiers to vulnerabilities. However, this responsibility is also delegated to a number of so-called CVE numbering authorities, CNAs, that can collect information and allocate identifiers, which are then later published to the CVE list maintained by MITRE. Assigning a CVE identifier to a vulnerability is of course optional. There are several vulnerabilities both in open source software and proprietary software that never receives a CVE identifier. This makes it more difficult to track and discuss them. However, the past year's rise in the number of vulnerabilities, the general increased focus on security, and the increased digitization of our society have increased the centralization of vulnerability information. We have now defined what we mean by a security vulnerability and introduced the CVE identifier. In the next part, we will look at where information about new vulnerabilities can be found and what this information includes.